Welcome to the Learn Biology Podcast, where we break down complex biological concepts and make them easy to understand. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the small molecules and the chemistry of life. We'll be discussing the building blocks of life, atoms, and how they make up the molecules that we see around us. We'll also be exploring the concepts of chemical reactions, equilibrium, and the different types of bonds that hold these molecules together. So, let's start with atoms. Atoms are the basic building blocks of matter and are made up of three types of particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Neutrons are particles that have no charge, while protons have a positive charge and electrons have a negative charge. The number of protons in an atom is called the atomic number and this determines the element that the atom represents. The mass number is the total number of protons and neutrons in an atom. Another concept related to atoms are isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that have a different number of neutrons. As a result, they have a different atomic weight, but they still have the same atomic number. Now, you may be wondering what elements make up living things. Well, 96.3% of living things are made up of just six elements, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. These elements form the building blocks of the molecules that make up our bodies and the environment around us. Next, let's talk about the arrangement of electrons in atoms and how it determines their chemical behavior. Electrons occupy specific areas around the nucleus of an atom called orbitals, which are grouped into energy levels or shells. The outermost shell is called the valence shell, and this is where chemical reactions occur. The rule that states that atoms prefer to have eight electrons in their valence shell is called the octet rule. Atoms will interact with each other in ways to fill their outer shell. The first shell of electrons, as seen in hydrogen and helium, hold two total electrons. For our class, the shells beyond this first shell hold a total of eight electrons. As we've seen, the arrangement of electrons in atoms determines how they react with each other. This brings us to the concept of chemical reactions. In a chemical reaction, reactants are transformed into products. At the atomic level, chemical reactions involve the transfer or sharing of electrons between atoms. Through chemical reactions, nothing is created or destroyed. There is the same elements and numbers of each element in the reactants as in the products. All that is different is that the elements of the chemical reaction have rearranged having broken or made new bonds among themselves. Another important concept related to chemical reactions is equilibrium. Equilibrium is a state where the rates of the forward and reverse reactions are equal. As a result, the concentrations of reactants and products remain constant. Understanding the principles of equilibrium is essential to understanding how chemical reactions behave in living systems. I hope you have a better understanding of the small molecules and the chemistry of life. Thanks for listening to the Learn Biology podcast. Be sure to tune in next time for more fun and informative episodes.